Welcome back. The holiday season is upon us, and as the parties, food, and commitments continue to mount, it can be tricky to stay mentally and physically healthy. Chris Dobroselsky is here with some simple things you can do to stay fit during the holiday season. Welcome. Good morning. Good yeah. morning. So what, what can you recommend? I mean, you've been in this business for 25 years, and I'm sure you have some great tips. I do. I have what I call the win strategy. First is W, walking. Walk every day. If you can't walk, then you can move. Do some of the exercises that my faithful assistant Cherry is doing right here. And can you describe what she's doing? You mentioned before in the break that it's more about relaxing during this time. Yeah, we don't need another thing we have to do this time of the year. We just want to feel as best we can. So she's doing some balancing and some stability exercises. Toning her midsection, toning her hips, but at the same time she could do this five minutes before she heads off to work in the morning to kind of check in, get grounded, and include a few stretches. So kind of yoga influenced it seems like? It is. Uh, Prana, a company here in San Diego that I like so much, was nice enough to get Cherry's outfit. Um, yeah, Cherry's a yoga student, but she incorporates it into her daily life. She has two beautiful young daughters, and they stretch together before and after their practices, and again, this time of the year more than usual. But it also looks like there's some, some strength to it as well. Yeah, if you try to do these plyometric push ups, these planking and rotational push ups, there's a huge strength component. So she's getting a middle body exercise, chest and shoulders, and a bit of the lower body as well. Okay, so what does the I stand for? Incremental change or incremental improvements in nutritional choices. So we don't have to get it perfect, we just want to do better perhaps than we did last year. Move in that direction. Don't go to parties hungry. Um, bring snacks if need be. Maybe split desserts with your spouse or your partner at the uh, particular event. But again, better, not perfect. And you go to so many of these parties and you know festive drinks are involved and those can be huge calorie bombs. So how do you recommend going around that? Well, again, the key to life is balance, right? Mm -hmm. So we want to enjoy the season and embrace the, the delicious drinks and whatnot, but you can pace yourself. Maybe one soda water, one of those more highly caloric uh, type of drinks. One regular water, this type of thing. Maybe smaller drinks than usual. Portion size is a big thing this time of the year. Okay, and quickly, the N? And then finally, and uh, what we want to do is make sure that we take the time to appreciate this time of the season. All right, thank you so much for being here.